Pride Month is about the fight for equal justice and equal opportunity for members of the LGBTQ plus community. And that fight can be especially difficult for people of color. Eyewitness News reporter Tim Pulliam talked to the publishers of a couple of magazines that are working to increase representation. Two black gay newlyweds on the cover of a black owned LGBTQ magazine. This history making cover and publication is created by Lawrence and Michael Broughton from Los Angeles. So I think if we change this front. The married couple launching BGW Elevate magazine last winter, their second issue due this summer. We've never ever had a magazine like BGW Elevate that actually features minority couples. Uh, minority LGBTQIA couples never got their own day um, on the bookshelves. And this is the first. So rare for context, in 2012, Jet Magazine, a hallmark publication for black news and culture, featured the first black gay couple in its wedding section. The Broughton's inspiration to produce their self-funded magazine came from their popular social media page, aptly called Black Gay Weddings, which shows stunning images of gay, lesbian, non-binary, and trans couples of color tying the knot around the world. But BGW's social media success has not trickled down to sales of its print and digital magazine. We haven't gotten the support that we actually thought we would get. To date, they've only sold 178 copies, and they say they need to sell at least 1,000 to produce a third issue. People think my support is because I like to photo or I follow you, and that is support at the same time and leaving a comment. But in order for us to keep doing the work that we're doing and putting out beautiful, uh, publica a beautiful publication like this, there, there needs to be a financial back, and we need to be able to have sponsors. We're giving voice to our community. Mark Ariel, managing editor of The Fight, an LGBT magazine in Los Angeles, understands BGW Elevate's plight. Ariel and his publisher launched the magazine more than a decade ago after only seeing queer magazines focus on one particular group. Mostly white people. Um, and, you know, nothing against white people, but uh, we felt that just there was a, a lacking of, of more comprehensive representation of the community. Since the magazine is free to the public, Ariel and his team rely heavily on paid ads. After those 100 calls a day, you do start getting a few advertisers in. But it's, it's a tough road. I mean, you get a lot of rejection. Um, but you just have to keep on fighting. The challenge in keeping queer publications viable, like The Fight and BGW Elevate, comes as civil rights organizations like the ACLU track 491 anti-LGBTQ bills across the country. These latest culture wars is now informing how BGW Elevate and The Fight cover the queer point of view. For us, it's the fight for equality. It's the fight for inclusion. It's, it's everything our community goes through. It, it's an ongoing fight. It's a political fight. It's a social fight. It's a fight within our own community. Tim Pulliam, ABC7 Eyewitness News.